guys. I, I hope you're all doing well. Um, so what we're going to do is every Tuesday we're going to have a video like this recorded and put on the internets for you guys, for you to watch. Um, it'll be the substitute as of for right now for class. Um, and I would just like to know that you have watched it. So if you can just write a comment on the video or send an email to, to me or, or to the web address, uh, feel free. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some stretching, we're going to do some bar, and then we're going to do some terminology so we have a visual reference of what we're learning here today as well. Okay? All right, so what we're going to do for plies is we're going to follow along, okay? So I'll just say, explain it in words at first. So two demis, and we're going to take a demi rise. We're going to take four tendus. No, just kidding. Don't do that. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do the combination with you with the music. So I'm just going to talk it through before real quick, and then you'll follow along as we continue. So just real quick, though, two demis and then a demi rise then three tendus to a hold lower. Same thing, two demis, demi rise, demi stretch, three tendus to the fifth. Same thing, two demis, demi rise. When we're in fifth, be very careful not to let the feet turn in. We wanna be keeping that rotation going so when we come down, we don't step on our toes. And then three tendus once again, this time closing back. Same thing, but with the left foot in front, okay? Now just be sure that the toes are always going away from the body. So we're never going in like this, but we're always going away like that. All right? Ready? And. Seven. whatever it is. So we're going to take a tendu front and a close, tendu side and a close, tendu back to the first, to the front, rondé jump. First and a first and a first and a first, tendu, plie, a tendu, and close. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and a eight and a one and a two and a three and a four five and six and seven eight okay ready and and stretch just kidding Stretch left, 
Let's take home. Take some rises, plie, rise, heels stay, and front, heels together when we're on the floor. Hold, right hand, left hand, open, and finish, stretch. All right, now we're going to work on some dégagé. So what we're going to do is dégagé, 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 coup de pied, bas, ma, plie. So one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, eight. Side to the front, to the side, to the front, to the side, to the back, to the side, to the back, and left. A front and a side, in front and a side, and back and a side, and back, plie, and stretch. Tendu, to fit, su su. Find your balance, right hand, then left hand. We'll come down, we'll stretch, other foot in front, we'll come to su su, right, and then left, and then we'll finish. Okay? Ready? Starting in first. Also come. One, two. Heels are four. You'll hear that a lot this whole time. One, two, three. Four, and find the coup de pied. Batna, plie, side, front, first, side, first, front, first, 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 first. Every time going through that first. Plie, stretch, tondu, plie, su su. Left hand, right hand, hold, and arm open, plie, stretch, and finish. All right, now what we're going to work on is rondi jambe, which means round of the leg. So we're going to start in first position just to make things simple. And we're going to take tendu front, rondi jambe just to the side, keeping that heel forward. So we want to be careful that the heel does not roll back, but we want to keep it in front. Close first. Front and side to first. And front to side to back to clear. One and two and three. And one and two and three. And one and two and three. And one and two and three. Okay? Then we're going to work on tambe pai de So we're going to take tandu. Tambe. You have all the weight onto this leg, so this leg there really shouldn't be any, but it should still be connected. And then back in susu, step to the side in a petite second position or more of a first. Close down into first for right now. Tondu, give all the weight, step to susu, step to a petite also come, and finish in first. And we will repeat that part again, okay? After that, we'll need a little bit of a stretch. Uh, but you can really do whatever you want, it's just more recommendations, you know what I mean? So ready, and. Hard to do. 
step away from your bar thing. Bring the hips back. Stick the tailbone out so you're stretching out the hamstrings. Come up. Bring the left foot forward. Drop the right heel and stretch out the calf. It helps if you put your hands on your sacrum, which is right above your tailbone and your lower back. And switch sides. So as far as terminology goes, the things I want us to really remember are plié, tendu, dégagé, and rond jambe. Things that we did at the bar. Those are the main things. Relevé, of course. Turnout, I want you to just know what it is. So, let's start from the beginning. So plié. Plié means to bend. It refers to mainly when you are working with both legs at the same time. However, we do use it when referring to one leg. I call it fondue, some people call it plié on one leg. Same difference. Um, tendu. Tendu means to stretch. It is generally done with only the legs. However, you can say élongé for stretching up the upper body. So, with that said, tendu, the leg should be straight the entire time. There should be no bend in the leg at all, and the heel should be reaching as far forward as it can while maintaining proper hip structure. So the hips don't get all wonky, the hips stay very square and straight while the leg is going as far forward along the floor as it can, whether that be front, side, or back. Know that as well. There are only three places your leg will ever be, front, side, or back. There will never be anywhere in between besides in the middle of a rendezvous. That's a different story. Which brings us to dégagé. Degage just simply means to disengage. It's a tendu that goes off the floor in simple terms. That's really all that you need to know about it as of right now. So, same rules apply with the degage as a tendu that heals forward and the leg is as straight and as long as it can be. So you go through a full tendu, toes touching the leg, sorry, toes touching the floor for as long as it can, and then it has to come off because the leg is so far away. Then rande jam. Rande jam means circle of the leg which that's easy to remember, rond, round, rond, round, kind of sounds similar, but not spelled the same. So that refers to when the leg is brought to the front and brought all the way to the back, through the side, all the way through a straight leg to the side, all the way through a straight leg to the back, or vice versa, straight leg all the way to the back, bring it all the way to the side straight, and then bring it all the way to the front straight. So. Those are the terms that I want us to really remember. <laughs>